Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this compound shape that consists of multiple triangles. As you can see in this figure, such that this side AD equal to this side BC. And moreover, this angle B is 20 degrees and this angle ADC is 40 degrees and now we are going to calculate this angle X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video. Before we proceed let me make it very clear that this diagram may not be 100% true to the scale. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's our very first step. Let's recall exterior angle theorem. And here's our exterior angle theorem. The exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite interior angles. In our case over here, this is our exterior angle and this is going to be equal to the sum of these two opposite interior angles, alpha and beta. Now let's focus on our this triangle BCD we can see that this 40 degrees is our exterior angle and this is going to be equal to the sum of these two opposite interior angle this angle and this angle so therefore this angle has got to be 20 degrees so therefore our angle BCD turns out to be 20 degrees and now we know that these two angles are equal so that means this triangle is an isosceles triangle so therefore this side is going to be equal to this side therefore this BD side equal to CD. And here's our next step. Let's observe this one. We know that this side length AD equal to this side length BC. Therefore, we moved this triangle BCD right up here such that uh, this side length uh, AD and BC, they overlap each other. And moreover, these our vertices BCD has been converted into these red B, C and D as you can see in this figure. And moreover these angles are going to be same as well 20 degrees and this one and 20 degrees this one as well since these two triangles are identical. So therefore this whole angle DBC is going to be 20 plus 40 is going to become 60 degrees. And here's our next step. We know that these two triangles are identical and we know that these two sides are equal. So that means this side is going to be equal to this side as well. And now let's go ahead and connect these two points. We're going to connect this point C and this red point D. And here's our much nicer looking diagram. And as a result, we get this triangle DBC with this side is equal to this side length. And now since this is an isosceles triangle, since these two sides are equal in length and this angle is 60 degrees. So therefore, these two angles have got to be equal as well. And this angle is going to be 60 degrees and this angle is going to be 60 degrees as well. So therefore, we got these two angles equal to 60 degrees as well. So therefore we conclude that this triangle is an equilateral triangle since all these angles are 60 degrees. So that means this side is going to be equal to this side is going to be equal to this side as well. And in this next step, let's focus on this red triangle BCD. We know that the angle sum in this triangle is going to be 180 degrees. If this angle is 20 degrees, this angle is 20 degrees. So that means this angle has got to be 140 degrees. Therefore, our angle BDC turns out to be 140 degrees. 
And now we can see that this whole angle is 140 degrees and this angle is 60 degrees. So this angle has got to be 140 minus 60 is going to be 80 degrees. So therefore our this angle CDC turns out to be 80 degrees. And here's our final step. Let's focus on this triangle CDC. And we know that this is an isosceles triangle since this side length equal to this side length. So therefore this angle has got to be equal to this angle and we know that this angle is this whole angle is x plus 20 degrees so that means this angle has got to be x plus 20 degrees as well and we also know that the angle sum of any triangle is 180 degrees so that means in this triangle sum of all these three angles this angle this angle and this angle must add up to 180 degrees. Let's go ahead and add up all these angles. I'm going to write down x plus 20 degrees first angle and likewise x plus 20 degrees our next angle and plus 80 degrees has got to be equal to 180 degrees. And now let's go ahead and combine the like terms. This x plus x is going to give us uh, 2x. And let's combine these angles 20 degrees plus 20 degrees plus 80 degrees. That is going to give us 120 degrees equals to 180 degrees. And now let's go ahead and subtract 120 degrees from both uh, sides. And we can see this positive 120 degrees and negative 120 degrees, they cancel each other out. So we ended up with 2x equal to on the right hand side, that is going to give us 60 degrees. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2 to isolate x. This 2 and 2 is gone. So that means our x angle turns out to be 30 degrees. So that means this angle turns out to be 30 degrees. So thus after all these multiple steps our angle turns out to be 30 degrees and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.